So building on our example of a simple network consisting of two PCs, at home you may have a network connecting you to the internet using an ADSL or cable or some other type of broadband connection which allows you from your laptop or desktop to access the internet. You may have an ADSL router connecting to a modem or directly to your internet service provider or ISP. That router may provide wireless connectivity so that you can access the internet from your iPad or iPhone or laptop anywhere in your house or it may have a wired connection where you physically cable a PC such as a desktop into the router. Now in its most simple terms, a router essentially receives data from a PC or an iPad and then determines where to forward it. So it may receive a message from your PC on one interface and then it needs to make a decision. Where am I going to send this traffic or data? Do I send it onto the wireless network so that it can be sent to the laptop or do I send it onto the internet because you're trying to access a website such as facebook.com? At a very basic level, a router or other devices such as switches simply move data or information from one interface to another interface based on some kind of decision criteria. In the same way as you may make decisions every day about which way to drive or which bus route or train route to take, routers make decisions based on some kind of criteria to determine the best path to a destination. The internet consists of many thousands of routers that are making decisions all the time about the best path or route to a destination. If you were driving from San Francisco to New York, you would make a decision on which way to drive. You'd have to decide which path to take. If you were driving, as an example, from San Francisco to San Jose, you probably wouldn't decide to drive via New York because the distance is far greater via New York than it would be simply driving from San Francisco to San Jose. In the same way, a router will make a decision based on distance or what's called a cost of a route to determine the best path to a destination. So your home network may consist simply of a router with some iPads or laptops and desktops, or you may have a larger home network or work in a small business environment or Soho environment. Soho is small office home office and in an environment like this, you may have a router connected to a device called a switch. A switch essentially gives you multiple ports or interfaces that you can connect devices to. So in this example, we have a network printer and two PCs that are connected physically via a cable to a switch, which in turn is connected to the router. Now in a lot of home environments, the switch is built into the router. So you won't have two physical devices. There'll be one device. The router may provide wireless connectivity once again so that your wireless laptop or iPad can connect to the internet without cables.